सिक्स्थ सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम कास थीटा इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई थर्टीन एंड टू सेवेंटी डिग्रीज लेस देन थीटा थीटा लेस देन थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एवेल्युएट evaluate sin of theta by 2 and cos theta by 2 okay let me repeat the question once again cos theta is equal to 5 by 13 and 270 degrees less than theta theta less than 360 then evaluate sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2 here the condition on theta is given so that means theta lies in fourth quadrant as theta lies in the fourth quadrant cos is positive the remaining trigonometric ratios except cos sec remaining ratios are negative So here we have to find out sin of theta by two and cos of theta by two with the help of cos theta. So we have the formula of sin theta by two in terms of cos theta and formula of cos theta by two in terms of cos theta. So we need not find out the other trigonometric ratios in this case. So directly we can proceed, but only in the case of the actually the sin what we. sign we have to select it that is the criteria in this problem so now here given cos theta equals to 5 by 13 270 degrees less than theta theta less than 360 degrees that implies theta belongs to fourth quadrant in order to find out theta by 2 divide by 2 throughout that means 135 degrees less than theta by 2 less than 180 degrees where does theta by 2 lie so now theta by 2 lies in the second quadrant second quadrant so in second quadrant sin is positive cos is negative so now sin theta by 2 sin theta by 2 is equal to root over half into 1 minus cos theta or 1 minus cos theta by 2 root over cos theta we know let us substitute that is root over Half into one minus five by thirteen. So this is root over half into thirteen is the LCM thirteen minus five. So root over half into eight by thirteen. To one ja to four ja. This will be root of four by thirteen. So equals to Two by root thirteen, so that is nothing but sine of theta by two. Let us find out cos of theta by two. So cos of theta by two is carefully we have to do because the theta by two lies in the second quadrant. The cos of theta by two gets negative value, so that means we have to take the formula minus root of half multiplied by one plus cos theta. Or it may be stated root of one plus cos theta by two also. So now the minus root of half multiplied by one plus five by thirteen. So now this is minus root of half of thirteen, thirteen plus five. So this is minus root of Half into eighteen by thirteen to one ja to nine ja. What is the square root of nine? 
that is 3. So, minus 3 by root 13 that means sin of theta by 2 is equal to 2 by root 13 and cos of theta by 2 is equal to minus 3 by root 13. Third problem. If 180 degrees less than theta, theta less than 270 degrees and sin theta is equal to minus 4 by 5, calculate calculate sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2. Okay. So, now in this problem instead of cos theta sin theta is given. So, first let us find out cos theta after that the respective values of sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2 can be evaluated. So, first let us find out sin theta. So, now using sin theta let us find out the value of cos theta. Here given 180 degrees less than theta, theta less than 270 degrees that implies theta belongs to third quadrant and sin theta is given minus 4 by 3. We know that or we have the cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So, let us substitute. Since sin theta is equal to minus 4 by 3, sin square theta becomes 16 by 9 or here cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. Sorry, this is 4 by 5. So, this will be 16 by 25. Now, 25, 25 minus 16 that will be 9 by 25. Am I correct? Okay. Now, this cos theta is equal to root over 9 by 25 plus or minus. So, we get plus or minus 3 by 5. Now, here is the question will rise. Either plus sign or minus sign we have to take. Since theta in the third quadrant, in the third quadrant, tangent and cotangent these two functions are positive rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative. So, simultaneously the cos theta becomes negative. So, we have to take cos theta is equal to minus 3 by 5. We know the cos theta value. Now, we have to determine the quadrant in which theta by 2 lies. After that we can evaluate sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2. So, that means take this consider this 180 degrees less than theta, theta less than 270 degrees divide by 2. So, now 90 degrees less than theta by 2, 135 degrees. So, that means in between 90 to 135 that implies theta by 2 belongs to the second quadrant. In second quadrant sin cosec are positive rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative. That means sin of theta by 2 will be positive. Obviously, now the cos of theta by 2 becomes negative. So, now sin of theta by 2 we have to find out sin of theta by 2 is equal to root over half multiplied by 1 minus cos theta. So, this is equal to root over half multiplied by cos theta is equal to minus 3 by 5 minus into minus plus 1 plus 3 by 5. 
So now this is root of half into phi phi plus 3. Okay. Now this is equal to root of half into 8 by 5 to 1 ja to 4 ja. Square root of 4 is 2, square root of 5 is root 5, 2 by root 5 that will be sine of theta by 2. Now cos theta by 2. So, as theta by 2 lies in the second quadrant, cos theta by 2 is negative. So, minus this is root of half times 1 plus cos theta. So, now the minus root of half into 1 minus 3 by 5. So, this is minus root of half into 5 minus 3 by 5. So, this will be minus root of half into 2 by 5 to 1 ja 2 1 by 5 square root. So, that becomes minus 1 by root 5. Now, here sin of theta by 2 is equal to 2 by root 5 cos of theta by 2 is equal to minus 1 by root 5.